So when COVID-19 hit, um, my partner Mikey and I were in the process of relocating to New Zealand. I moved to New Zealand in the end of August 2019 to start a new job at MetOcean here in Raglan. And Mikey followed about a few weeks later. We returned to the U.S. for the Christmas holiday. And at that time, I was, we were both going to fly back together shortly after Christmas in the new year. But Mikey got a concussion surfing and was unable to fly. So he stayed in the U.S. with his family and I came back to New Zealand for my job. In the end, Mikey got stuck in the U.S. I stayed in New Zealand where my job was. So the last time we actually saw each other was in February 2020. I think that's the right year, yeah. So it's definitely been an interesting experience. It's been extremely overwhelming at times, I would say, having to worry about all of them there and then realizing that we're going through very, very different pandemic situations. I think the biggest challenge for me is looking at what's happening and naturally being somebody who wants to plan things and solve problems and try to figure out a solution to it and realizing that it is literally something that is beyond my ability to solve. Since Christmas, personally, it's been a lot harder. I sort of realized that this is way beyond my ability to deal with myself because I thought I would be home before Christmas and I promised everyone that I would be. And that's when I started to realize that I was kind of spiraling into worrying way too much and it was getting hard to be able to do anything. I called our immigration lawyer crying on Christmas Eve, just going, how do you fix this? What can we do? I had a really good conversation with a lot of people, but one of them that stuck in my mind was with Esther, who said that basically she reminded me about the idea of a habit and how it takes practice every single day for many days to form a new habit, and that maybe that habit was putting things in God's hands. And so it just got to the point where I was losing my mind, but I would literally lay in bed and say, okay, my new habit is going to be putting this in God's hands. Um, and there were some nights where I couldn't do it, like I was in bed, like shaking about it. And then I'd be like, no. Sometimes it took an hour, but an hour later, I could just feel that weight lift and that peace um, of, okay, this is going to work out at least enough to go to sleep tonight. <laughs> um, life group has been really amazing. I sort of tend to, you know, at the end of life group, we say, okay, is there anything you can, that you need prayer about? Um, and I usually have a list of like 45 things that I pick like the top 10. And that's been really good too. It's just encouraging to be in that group of people, um, and have that support. It's really, yeah, it's an awesome community. And the other thing that helped was sort of realizing that the Bible talks about worry over and over and over again in so many places, and I have yet to see a place where it says we should worry about stuff. And so it's been a real big challenge to kind of take that and say, okay, I really, as huge as this is, <laughs> I really don't have to worry about it. I have to try really hard to make it the best situation I can, but then God meets us the rest of the way. I think when it comes to prayer, it looks a lot of different ways for me throughout this process. There's definitely been a few times where it's like full on screaming, like not even words, just like, are you serious? Um, but most, then there's times where it's like, I'm tired of praying to you about this. Like it almost gets exhausting to be like, what, why, you know? But then there's a lot of times where you see the answers really clearly. The situation is really huge. So it's been a situation that's literally out of my hands, but that does not mean that it's out of control because God knows what's going on.